before we start rendering and importing everything to Solaris, let me just show you uh, how you could how you could actually export um, these objects either individually uh, or, or only UV maps um, or well all together. So if you want to export this all together, the best way to do is through file and then export and then through this uh, filmic FBX export and then here you set your path of the file where you want to export so you can say um, this export create new folder and say blitz ball dot uh, FBX obviously um, usually this is um, good to set set it off because sometimes this can produce some problems when exporting or when importing in softwares like, for example, a Marmoset Toolbag. So this is kind of a safe, a safe option to check in case you have problems uh, with your exported mesh. Uh, everything else can be um, left um, as uh, default. Now, you from here choose what, what to export. So in this case, because we want to choose everything, it's uh, only logical that we export everything that's uh, basically below um, this path which is in this case uh, so under obj we have pretty much all of this okay so we don't have to actually select anything if we do export mm -hmm. and now if we try to navigate uh, let me see i am on my other monitor i will show you just a sec here as you can see we have our Blizzball FBX. Unfortunately, we cannot open it here. But if I open it in Substance Painter, let's say new desktop, uh, not desktop, sorry, tutorials, Blitzball, export, Blitzball FBX, uh, open GL. Also, Blender template seems to work super nice when exporting. Uh, and yeah here you go um now the problem with this is um let's see well there is no actually problems for the moment um yeah okay so this is yeah so your basically textures are this is something you have to, to uh, pay attention basically your textures um, here or layers uh, or texture set list is based on the materials you had uh, under here okay so you can see here so that's that's one thing to to pay attention because here you would have to do you is a little bit different to, to actually make this work okay so to make this work what we can do actually here sorry about this let's go back to houdini what we can do is actually we can combine if you go under the modify and then combine all these objects we need to wait a little bit basically what will happen is that all of this will now be uh, just one of this just one geometry container and it's all merged with one another so we say output okay and if we now go to let's just delete this file export filming box again let's a version zero two doesn't really matter let's export now new now again we have the same same thing here okay and to actually make this work in this case we just need uv layout 
UV layout. And this UV layout will take all the unwrapped uh, objects or UVs and basically pack them together. Now you can also pack this manually, okay? But I would not really recommend, except if you really, really need to do it. So again, if we go here, this time I don't have to um, do anything. I can just again click on this field and use scroll wheel to just change this uh, number from two to three. So if you're using scroll wheel, <laughs> this is another nice thing that I very often use. So yeah, export. And now if we import this again, Okay, this card. See now. Now, textures are not overlapping. Okay. But again, I'm using five different materials, so I have five different uh, or texture, texture sets. Okay, so there are ways to fix that, but let's, let's not complicate for now. Let's leave something for later. And yeah, you can start uh, painting. Cool. Okay, let's go back. Uh, another way we can, let me just undo everything. Okay. Another way you can export is with your uh, FBX output Rob. Okay, again, this time you're just exporting whatever is in this geometry container. And here you just set a name, a path, and then and disable this. Basically, the settings are pretty much the same as seen under the file and export. Okay, and another way we can actually export not, not only our geometry, uh, for for quick uh, UV uh, for quick texturing or painting, uh, we can also let's go here. We can also click on any of this node on any of this step. Okay, absolutely any step we want. Okay, and with right mouse button, so hover over the SOP under the save. We can either save geometry. Okay. Again, select the path. Mm, where is my... Uh, okay, select the path. This time let's set or accept FBX. We can here choose what um, to export. This time let's go with OBJ. Click the accept. And now we have our blitz ball. Um, in this case, uh, only only the spikes so if i would open spikes quickly so that's or this card so i would only have spikes and the correspond corresponding texture set okay nice and the last way or the last thing you can actually do is only export your texture UV image, basically this thing. So let's put it 2048, 2048. Again, let's select destination. Let's just say mm, UVs. Dot JPEG or PNG. You can set any resolution. Press accept. And now, if we open this inside software like this one, let's go under tutorials, which ball. Voila. Now you can actually do some painting or, or even what I do here mostly is just creating some alpha maps if I if I quickly need them.
uh, very useful to know. So basically, um, that would be uh, pretty much all the ways I know how to export something um, useful. And yeah, we will definitely explore this topic more in, in future series. But for now, uh, this is just quick and dirty. Um, and uh, hopefully, guys, uh, you pick some, some of the tricks. So um, yeah, see you guys in the next video.